Welcome back to the Boondocks Homestead, y'all. Today, I've got you out here in one of our goat pastures, and we're going to be looking at Verbascum thapsis, which is also known as mullein. And a lot of people would just call it a weed, and it kind of looks like a weed, except it gets this long stalk of beautiful gold yellow flowers on it. Now, I'm just going to give you a little disclaimer here in the beginning because I'm not an expert on this. This is the first year I've done this. I've been doing a little bit of research, but I have a lot more to go. But today, I just want to help you maybe identify it and um, let you know what you're looking at. And because there are some lookalikes, and I, you know, so it's just all a learning process of what you're looking at, what you're looking for um, to get this this herb okay to use it for medicinal purposes now with that being said I'm not telling you to take anything I'm not telling you it cures anything I'm not telling you I'm not a doctor I don't know these things okay to be factual this is what we're going to do for our family to see if it works and I'll keep up with you and let you know if it does I've got some behind me and I want you to look at this I bought some seeds last year and because I didn't think we had this growing anywhere. We didn't in this front pasture. And I don't remember seeing it anywhere t t on our 20 acres. Tim could probably tell you, but I don't think he's seen it either. And then this year, it just popped up everywhere. If you can see it in the background, it's all over the place back there. Okay, now, um, from what I understand, it's biennial. So it's going to live two years, okay? Um, the first year, you want to wait until fall to get the leaves to harvest the leaves okay now is a good time to get the flowers from what i understand um, from the research that i have done so you cut the stalks of the flowers off and you sh turn them upside down in a barrel you let them dry and then you shake out the seeds you can use the flowers they say for um ear infections ear aches and to make little tinctures with put it in oil and make little tinctures don't know nothing about that yet okay i don't know we're going to try it though and um we're going to make some tea out of the leaves and stuff but but you really when you harvest this um you only take a third uh, or you leave a third of the, the leaves on this plant okay and you can see the plant right there the leaves are very soft let me get you down here where you can see the Hold leaves on. have got um they're kind of like lamb's ear they've got that real soft soft um, outside but with that being said they also have these um, their little hairs is what they are kind of and they you can be allergic to them and you can um, they can make you break out so with that being said I have gloves and I don't know if you guys watched my other videos but all of a sudden I am allergic to tomato plant vines and the leaves, and it's causing me to break out and stuff, some kind of dermatitis or something. So I just, I've ordered me a pair of gloves that go up to here, but for right now I just have these. Um, I haven't got the other ones yet in the mail. So what I'm going to do is I got my, got my scissors back here. I didn't bring a, a bucket to put my flowers in. But, and we might go around and see if there's any more that's flowering a little bit more than that. But they say that morning time is the best time to harvest these. One, because all your pollinators, because they love these things. And they're good to have around and close to your garden, which ours is close. You don't want to plant them in your garden because, you know, but um, close to your garden. And they keep the pollinators around, the bees and everything. And so you want to do it early, early morning when um, they're not around. And it's pretty early. I think it's like 7 o'clock. So let's go around and look. Let's just go look at some of these other ones. And this one, this is a tiny one. He's really little. And there's one. <laughs> Look at that one. It's like all crooked. That's kind of neat looking. And see, there's some over there. I may wait before I take these off. I may wait and um, see how they get 
Now see, there's one over there, and those flowers are dead. Let's go look at that one. I don't want to wait too long, but it's kind of like the leaves. The leaves is what I really want. Uh, this one's dying, so this might... I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. What would even cause it to die? But see, the flowers aren't even coming out. But now look at that one. That one's pretty. And see those leaves? And these leaves, you would want to leave those alone. The ones with the holes and the spots, you would leave them alone. You would only get your pretty ones. And they've got the, the, the line right through the center. See how they're shaped? But you would only want those uh, pretty leaves for your tea that you're going to dry out. And I'll do some re more research. And as I get it, I'll bring it along and pass it along to y'all. But you really need to do your own research, y'all. Okay. Um, because they say there's lookalikes to these. But you're looking for specific things like these flowers these see all these these are just going to be full of flowers all that they're going to be full of these little guys and then your leaves and the fuzzy which i can't feel these i haven't even been down here feeling them because i'm like i didn't even know because i'm so allergic to this stuff now that i didn't know there's a little bitty one And the goats don't eat them. I don't know why. But the goats are not eating them. So, you know, they'll eat poison ivy and stuff like that, but they won't eat. And there's another one. They're just, they're everywhere. And they're just coming up everywhere. So, the seeds that I have inside in the refrigerator, I don't know what I'll do with those. I may throw them up in the woods. I don't, I don't know where they, you know, I guess they like sun. Like I said, I don't, I haven't done a lot of research on this yet. Hold on a minute. All right, I'm down in the bottom here. Now my tripod will stand up. But, um, but anyways, I, uh, I don't know where I left off there, but I haven't done extensive research on this, but I want to because um, they say that it's good for the mucus when you have any kind of respiratory or, um, throat infection or respiratory infection or anything and you have a lot of mucus and everything and that is like the main complaint when we get that stuff around here you know it's just all that mucus and stuff and it's like you're supposed to be able to drink this tea and um and you notice i say you're supposed to be able to because i've never done it but i'm going to do it i'm going to try it and um, i'll pass it on and let you know how it works um as far as I know, I've, I, I'm on a Mullen uh, Facebook page now, and um, I'm learning stuff. And so I kind of debated doing this video, but I've had a lot of people asking me about it. So I just want to let you know, you know, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and I'm going to pass along what I have learned and what I know, but I am no expert by any means, okay? So don't, don't I guess don't use this for an educational video. Um, because, I mean, I'm just not, I'm not there yet, <laughs> okay? But um, I just want to show you what it looked like, basically, and how to identify it. So, and like I said, they get big. Um, and I've also seen them where they're like huge on the side of the road in the ditches and stuff. But then I've also read that, you know, that those could have pesticides and they could have, you know, bad things, chemicals and stuff on them from being beside the highways and stuff. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the only thing they're going to have here in this field is going to be goat poo. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much it. Um, but there's a lot of them, and I just thought, you know, why let something like this, a natural herbal medicine, why just let it go and sit down here if it can be used? You know, why not use it instead of buying stuff from my camera's about to fall? <laughs> It just keeps getting slow, falling slower and slower. 
But why not use that instead of um, going and buying this synthetic man-made stuff if it, if it does the same thing or close to, even close to the same thing, right? Like I said, from what I know, it's the flowering stalk and then the fuzzy leaves, and they, they have a, a, a certain shape, and they've got the line down the middle. And you can look it up, Verbascum thapsis. That's the name of it, the, the real name. And then they've just shortened it, I guess, to Mullen. Uh, but anyways, that's it. And this is the only place that I see it on our property. This is it. Uh, so far, it's only that I've seen and just all of a sudden decided it wanted to come up everywhere, which I thought was pretty neat. Uh, I don't know how it does that. Don't know where it comes from. Don't know anything about this weed <laughs> the herb. So, um, But a lot of people just think it's a weed and there's no use for it, but there is. There supposedly is. <laughs> so, all right, well, I'm going to get off here. I got a lot of cooking to do today. And I hope this helped you out. If you didn't know a little bit about it, I'm like I said, I'll bring it to you as I learn. But I just don't know a whole lot about it yet. I really don't. And I, I said, like I said, I debated whether or not to do this video because I know you guys want to learn stuff from us. But um, so to bring something to the table that I don't know a whole lot about, I just was kind of nervous about it. But but I'm just giving you what I've learned so far. And um, hopefully, you know, my, I'll get more input on this and be able to share a lot more with you. And then actually making the tea and making the tinctures and making the stuff and using it and then bringing it to you um, maybe will help. But I just, I don't know, the older I get, it's like, you know, God put all this stuff here for a reason. I mean, there is a, Tim tells me all the time, there's a reason for everything. Um, even the bad stuff, you know, snakes, because I hate snakes. I literally hate them. I'm just going to tell you, I don't like them. And I don't care if it's a little garden snake. I, I don't like any of them. But Tim tells me there's a reason for everything that God put on this earth. So there's a reason for all this herbal medicine. There's a reason for or all these herbs. And a lot of it, I think, is for medicine. Um, you know, or I just think it is. So tell me what you think in the comments and um, what you think about using this mullen. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here and go check the tobacco worms, as they call it. I don't like calling them tobacco worms. I call them tomato worms. Tim calls them tobacco worms. And those horn worms, that's what they're called, horn worms, horn tomato horn worms or tobacco horn worms. They are devastating our tomato plants in our hoop house. And we have killed, I bet we've killed 30 of them out of there already. But that being said, our tomato plants are huge and they're giving us lots of beautiful red tomatoes. So anyways, we'll go see if, if uh, I can see any in the mor morning. Morning time's best to catch them. They're up, up and at it, munching away, you know. So last night we did find a few though. And we found some outside too. They're just, they're, there's a lot of them this year. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. I love you guys. Y'all have a blessed day. And um, just remember that I'm, I'm learning. This is a learning thing for me. And I just wanted to pass it on to y'all and be looking for this. Now that you know what it looks like, you're going to see it everywhere. You will see it everywhere. So I'm going to get off here. I love you guys. You have a blessed day. And Lord willing, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Well, I found one, you guys. As soon as I walked in here, he's a big one. He has to go. He cannot stay. 